Okay, this is in connection with uh, the video about uh, a man trying to assume the state of being of a woman, a female, as a creative experimentation to identify the operating self. There are a lot of men who may dress like that. <coughs> so, also in a ritual, in temples, before deities. <coughs> but what should be the way of attention? That is critical. The attention creates the world. It's not, it shall not be a mechanical doing. We should have the creative analytic observation to derive insights out of that. I'll tell you, for example, how to do it. Let's say you one day choose. Okay, let me try it one day. Uh, entering into the full costume, full decoration of a, of a princess. Or of a deity. I mean, Indian, I'm talking about the Indian contest of deity. Or the western contest of a princess. That is their best to dress of a female. Here in India it is like the wedding costume in saris. Or, or deity, Saraswati or Lakshmi or Durga or whatever. Sari. And India has the great genius in making saris. So, and sari has been discovered by a, a mystic. Definitely, a male. And sari gives the most elegant description of the female appearance. Everything is appearance. What a female is, uh, sari. Only 10% of the face is visible. And the face is decorated like that of a female. And uh, let me tell you the strategy. When you choose it, you may find it internally objectionable. Something inside you is objecting, oh, why should I do it? What is the point in that? Okay, I get a new experience. So what, etc. Some ordinary logic. That's the strategy of the mind to escape. Just like that, you know, there is a saying, just like that. Why Edmund Hillary climbed Everest, you know, to show people nothing. Just like that. He said, if the Everest is there, therefore I climbed. That's all. Life is a drama. Do not take life that serious. Life is a drama. A transient phenomenon between birth and death. Induced by the transient orgasmic intent of a, of a man. That's all. So, and then when you are successful, as a test, apply that self-test whether you can comfortably make that choice. What all logics, mental logics are preventing it. Okay. That is one possibility, one first stage. Secondly, you go and buy those items. You might feel embarrassed. You should go to the shop and buy it. And try saying to the salesman, for me, he will know what is the mental block. What strong self-image of a masculine element is there. When you are ready to violate many norms of, uh, even ethical norms of work or relationship and so on and so forth, you don't want to violate that norm, okay, of a so-called masculine. Your early definition, which maintains your attraction for the female, which maintains your obsession for the feminine, which maintains your obsession with your own sexuality, that male sexuality. Most of these males are obsessed with sexuality. Their only way of looking at the female is in the framework from the angle of sexuality only. Which the females do not object, of course, and that's what precisely they want. So get out of the remote control of that obsession and wear that dress. And learn efficiently, do not just wear it, okay, clumsily. I have seen in many forms of, of course, uh, in a ritual in temple, uh, in Kerala state, cotton clung, where uh, thousands of males as part of a ritual or a promise or an offering to the deity there, they dress up in the entire paraphernalia in more decorations like that of a princess, like that of their wedding dress, in beautiful style. But uh, most of them are not properly made up. Their makeup is not proper. 
Okay, makeup is proper, but they don't wear the sarees properly. They wear it, okay, the makeup man does it, but they don't feel comfortable in that. And anyway, it is done by somebody else. In this case of self experimentation, you have to learn from another female how to do it, and you yourself do it very elegantly. A sari can be worn very elegantly. Correctly. And then again, look at the uh, mirror and uh, see what all thought processes are uh, originating in you. And introspection, you should have the capacity of introspection. Let us you are doing a research, you have to write down points of what you felt. Right? So take it as a research. Research is the universe. Every animal survives by research. Research is the way to creativity and originality and genius and enlightenment. Okay, do a research on what are you feeling in, when you see yourself. And when you do the makeup, do not in between look at the mirror. That is a blender, okay? You remain in closed dice and in mauna rhythm completely. During that time when you get made up, you, you make every step of gradually assuming the feminineness as much as you know. You are the course observer of females, so every time, every mirror. There are no film, film I mean, uh, people, even the films everywhere, female dress is glamorized, femininity is glamorized and glorified and even deified. And when every makeup, uh, last tip is, last detail is over, then close the cross days you walk towards a full size mirror and in appropriate lighting when there is nobody, look at the mirror. Even if there is somebody, suddenly see you in full costume and stay there for a while and stare and look into the eyes so that the mirror is a reflection of the you. That is the second stage or third stage. First is the choice, second is buying all those things, okay? The decision. Choice, decision and action. These are the three parameters I have identified. So you made the choice, then you took the decision in connection with you and then purchased all the details and you were this, uh, then the action of wearing it. External action, a lot of internal actions, that's what I am talking mainly. And uh, let uh, some other people see you. What do you feel when others look at you? Especially the males. And by the way, when you dress up like a female, females will not feel anything. They feel good. But the males would feel uncomfortable. That is the male obsession with their own sexuality as well as the sexual uh, expression of the females. Almost 99 out of 100 men will feel embarrassed even to look at you and they will feel funny. Or they may make a negative, uh, even comments of sexual nature. No problem. Face them and feel like a female. And also for a moment they want to worry uh, what the female would be feeling when the male is so staring at them and looking at them as a mere sexual object. And check whether you are also a victim of that and change it. Of course, look at them as beautiful beings, but respect them. Really genuinely appreciate them, genuinely love them. Be ethical towards them. And then, uh, okay, sit there, walk, do certain things, do some cooking of a cup of tea and all the time try to be firm, correct, complete, elegant, try to be fully a female. And naturally, because of sari, your movements will be restricted. That's why sari is advantageous. Not even salwar kurta, a kummi was. Sari, with full paraphernalia of underskirt and dresses and all those things. And even braces uh, should be properly worn. I suggest uh, buying big, uh, rather big size balloons and put a, a glass of water inside that. Okay. And that weight of, and they tie it properly and instead of some other stuff, you put that balloon, that water balloon inside the braces. It will not break, don't worry. Like in an uh, automobile uh, tire, uh, uh, that uh, inflating rubber is there and then covered by the toughness of the tire. Okay, so the braces will cover, it will not break, don't worry. I have tried it, many times. 
and it will give an elegant shape to the breast. Nothing else would do that. Nothing else would do that. Do that. And that will give a feeling also. Because of the pressure of that balloon rubber, it will just press against your chest when you walk and all that. You will get a good feeling, definitely. This all for feeling, for sensing. Because thought processes are connected with sensation and perception and feeling. And be dedicated to this. Whenever there is a, a challenging question comes, a, a conformity question comes, a normal question comes, manage it. Do not deny that. Like a, like a girl faces the invisible interviews of ridiculous kinds from the every almost every man on the road and getting toughened, uh, you should also be uh, toughly dealing with that uh, stupid masculinity in Swedish. Try that. At least once in your lifetime. And be creative in doing that. Be observant in doing that. Focus your attention, reflection, and write down your perceptions and experiences and feelings and, and develop a story out of it. Expand it and see that. Be a researcher. Do it as a researcher and researcher only. Good luck to you. <laughs>